What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with more Railroads Online and today I'm super excited because we are finally going to get rid of the bet- well we're not going to get rid of the Betsy's but we're finally going to buy another new engine and I'm hoping that it's going to be one that we can start using. So we've got the Betsy here hooked up, I actually have it hooked up to 12 plank cars because I've been running some lumber back and forth to make some money and we do have enough money now, we got $4,800. And the next set of engines is $4,300. Once again, I always kind of buy engines based on the prices. And the last one we bought was the Betsy 2 because I think it's like $3,100 or $39 or something. But anyway, the next engines are $4,300. And there's two of them, but uh, I'm already going to pick one. Now, one thing I wanted to point out was the Eureka. I have a rail company name. As you can see, we've got the Eureka. I gave it 0.5. Uh, because it's just, it's terrible. I wanted to give it engine number 1.5 because we got Betsy 2 and Betsy 1 over there. But unfortunately, if you put 1.5, the text, uh, it doesn't scale. So it sort of overlaps this ring. Now, granted, I bought this a while ago and there have been some game updates since then. So maybe the text does scale now. But anyway, it's 0.5. It's, it's just, it's half an engine. It's pretty pathetic. And I named the rail company, the Straight Line Rail Co. In the round table video or the turntable video where I made this whole turntable, I mentioned that we didn't have a rail company and you can put text on the tenders. And I went through all the comments or literally like a thousand plus comments. It was crazy. I went through a ton of them and I read through it and I actually didn't really pick anyone's specific name. A lot of comments were talking about a few different things. There were a lot of comments that said, uh, oh, you know, you should name it Cons Rail Co. or something, and I didn't want to have that. And then there were a few comments that were talking about, you should name it between the destinations, like a lot of rail companies have. But there were a lot of comments that said, you like to make perfect rails, and maybe like Perfection Rail Co. or something. And someone said Straight Line Freight, I believe, and I thought, you know what, Straight Line Rail Co. sounds really good. You know, it's like straight lines, you gotta go between places. So it's kind of a, a company name that was built out of a mixture of comments, but you guys can argue amongst yourselves as to who actually, uh, you know, came up with the name, but it's pretty much a mixture of all sorts of different comments that got Straight Line Rail Co. And I think it sounds really official, and it's, you know, it sounds clean. It sounds like a good rail company. Like, we go straight to the destination, no problem. Also, this engine's name is Gutless, because it's, um, it's Gutless. So it's, its name is Gutless. Anyway, today we're gonna buy a new engine right off the bat, and then we're gonna hook it up to those 12 cars and we're gonna bring it all the way to the iron mine to get more iron ore the reason we have 12 cars now instead of 10 is uh in the iron ore episode dapper and i realized that the iron ore takes equal amounts of beams and planks and converts it into iron so if you have 12 cars you can bring 24 beams and 24 planks all at the same time to the iron mine which should make 24 iron so that's why we've increased from 10 to 12 I'm also going to need new shunt lines at some point. These are 10 car along shunt lines, which is fine, but I'm actually running out of space. When we store that, uh, it fills everything completely, and then we only have one through line. So I'm going to need another shunt lane here at some point, but we're going to buy the new engine. So let's just do that right now, locomotives. And there are two to pick from in this price range. So for $4,300, we've got the Cook Mogul, which I, I hope I said that right, or Cookie Mogul. I think it's Cook Mogul. And then, of course, we've got the D&RG Class 70, which has more tractive effort. Now, what I was told is the Class 70 never shipped from the manufacturer with brakes, but the devs have added, like, water brakes to it, which aren't necessarily as good as real brakes, because that was a common thing that happened back in the day. I'm not exactly sure, but regardless, a lot of people have been telling me in the comments to get the Cook Mogul, and it's a great engine, so I figured we're gonna get that today. It's 4300 bucks. Uh, let's see what we've got for options. Okay, the, the... I don't like either of those smokestacks. I prefer the straight line one. And then headlight, it's more expensive, but it just changes. Yeah, I like the the default light, honestly. So this is engine number three, uh, because it is the third one. I don't know what to call this. I, I feel like like Captain Cook, kind of like, you know, Captain Crunch, but it's Captain Captain Cook, even though it's, even though it's, that doesn't really, it's not really an, an engine name, but you know, it's Captain Cook. That seems, seems all right. And then the tender, is going to be straight line rail co. Apparently, I can't put that much text on the tender because it actually will that actually overlap. Look at that. You see that? I feel like I can't do that. All right, we're going to call it SRC, I guess. Straight line rail co. All right, this thing looks pretty cool. We've got a tender here. We're going to have to hook that up. I think we got to do it from this side. Yeah, we got that side. Holy wood pile. Alrighty, that's that's a lot of wood. Oh my god, that's like insane the amount of wood that has. Alright, and then this is, I guess, extra water here at the back, right? This is where we're gonna fill it. 
Perfect. Okay, so we should do that. All right, well, first things first, we're gonna have to- Wait, what? Oh, you stand here! Oh, that's so cool! Oh, the firebox sticks, like, right out to here. Well, can I open these? Oh, that is sick. That is sick. You can open the doors and get in here to work the controls. Oh, that's so cool. I, I wonder if it was actually like this in real life. That'd be insane. You'd be standing here next to a super hot metal tank. Brakes are there. We've got our reverser. We've got our cylinder cocks. Okay, we've got sander, regulator. It's a cool looking engine. All right, well, we gotta get it fired up anyway. So we're gonna just put some wood into the firebox. Yeah, she's burning. Okay, perfect. So we'll let that get heated up. In the meantime, we might as well just disconnect Betsy and bring it around. We're gonna hook the mogul up to these 12 cars and uh, just actually park Betsy. So let's just get Betsy going. Should be perfect. Now, normally I do these episodes where I'll actually test to see if, you know, the engine is better than Betsy because Betsy has sort of been the go-to standard of pulling power. But I'm not gonna do that today. Instead, we're actually just gonna re-rail Betsy um, that's straight. Perfect. We're just gonna rerail Betsy and have it flipped around the opposite way and just do a straight up pushing test because I can manually just set the regulator for Betsy in, you know, like this, for example, and have it go full forward. And I have a feeling that there's literally no possible way that Betsy's gonna overpower this thing. I mean, we're into like the monster engines now. It's gotta be more powerful than this tiny little Betsy. So we're gonna just do a straight up push test and have Betsy push into it, it pushed the other way, and I'm gonna set Betsy and then get in the other one and push it. And I have a feeling uh, Betsy's days are finally over as the dominant engine in the fleet. I'm super excited to actually start running some bigger engines in this. It's about time. We've been playing this game for way too long to not have some decent freaking engines. And this thing, I feel like it's got towing capacity, right? We're gonna, we're gonna go, we're gonna pull stuff, it's gonna be wonderful. The 6%'s not even gonna be a problem for this. That's my goal. Oh no, we have no brakes! That's right, I gotta turn on the, uh, compressor. Gotta turn on the compressor to get brakes. That is correct. Yes, we need air brake pressure. I forgot about that. Betsy just uses the manual clamp brakes. This thing actually uses air brakes. So, uh, there we go. We got air pressure. Alright, so here we go. We're gonna turn Betsy on. That thing's full brakes, so it shouldn't do anything. Betsy, you're full. Full boiler pressure, full water, full reg. Good enough. Alright, so no brake on Betsy. Full forward with reg. And... Full reverse 100%. Alright, it's not really doing much. And then on this side, we're gonna turn the brakes off. So it's getting pushed by Betsy. Perfect. Full reverser, 100% reverser. Alright, there's no way. What if I brake first? Are you serious? Is Betsy actually as powerful as this freaking engine? There's no way. Hold on. Sander? No. What? Hmm, Betsy might actually be as powerful as this whole engine. Are you kidding me? No reg? 100% reg. Holy cow. Betsy has the pushing power of this monster. Alright, well, Betsy's still OP, but regardless, let's, uh, let's take the cook and, uh, do a run all the way to the armor. Betsy had 16% break on too? Are you serious? Oh my god, Betsy is ridiculous. I think this game, you still need just an army of Betsy's. It would appear that there is no reason to have any engine except for Betsy. Which might need to change. I think Betsy's a little bit overpowered. But anyway, we're going to park Betsy on this sidetrack for now. And we're going to see how the cook does when we hook it up to 12 cars. And run it all the way up to the iron mine fully loaded. I feel like it should be able to do that on its own. Right? No problem. But, you know... I don't, I don't honestly know. I can't even push Betsy. Like, Betsy was winning that fight. Let's say they're even. Betsy was on, like, you know, the slight edge of victory. Like, it, you know, it would barely, barely slide in Betsy's favor, which is just crazy. But anyway, here we go. Let's hook some cars up and get out of here. So I uh, apparently forgot to set the brakes on my plank cars. And even though this is flat ground, sometimes cars like to move a little bit. So they're way back over there, but that's not a big deal. We'll just loop back around to pick them up. And then we're also going to fill up with more water as well. I'm assuming the tender lets us go probably up to like three, 4,000. We're only at 1,700 right now. And I just want to make sure we're maxed out completely for this trip. Because it's going to be a long one. I don't know if we're going to make it with 12 cars fully loaded. I feel like we should. You know, Betsy could probably handle this on its own. But, you know, it does get up to 6%. So I don't know. Alright, this is sick. This is actually perfect. You know, to be honest, the cars look really tiny compared to this massive engine, which is sick. 
but the fact that Betsy can push this thing, although to be honest, that's kind of like from a standstill, so I don't know if that's such a good test, because a lot of pulling is based on momentum with trains, so you like build up momentum on flat ground, and then you just maintain the momentum going up the hill. You're not going to be starting on the hill necessarily. And if we do have to start on the hill, we can always just, you know, loop back to a flat section and then take a run at it, I guess. But either way, we're going to fill this thing up with water and then we're going to get out of here and head over to the lumber camp. All right, perfect. Should be aligned here. Open our tender hatch. Come here. Nope. Nope. I need you to, go. I need you to come down. It's hard because now I'm standing way up tall. Come on. Come on down. There we go. Perfect. No, I don't, I don't want the wood. We'll throw you in the fire. That's fine. I need to move you over. All right, that should be good enough, right? Just jam the nozzle right into... Yeah, no, that's fine. I don't even need the lid. Perfect. All right. How is our water level? 1900, 1981, 2000. Okay, so it's going up. So now we just got to sit and wait until that gets to full, I guess. However long that's going to take. I'm assuming it's going to be 5,000. That would be... That's what the Eureka was, I'm pretty sure. So I feel like this is going to be the same deal. All right, and she's full. 5,000. Perfect. So we're going to just bring this up and get it out of here. Yep. Now, I don't know in this game, I would assume it does, but I don't know if water would affect the weight of your vehicle. You would think that if you have more water, it's going to be harder for your vehicle to move, but I don't actually know if that's factored in or not. I would assume it would be. I guess it'd be, uh, we could test it at some point, just a specific regulator you know, at a specific hill and see how powerful the train is. But regardless, we're going to head out. Don't really care. Need full water anyway, because I feel like we're going to be full regging a lot of this trip just because of how massive this engine is. Well, I tell you, we're moving now. That's for sure. All these corners should be pretty good. I'm a little worried about some of the spots of the mountain pass. This is a bigger engine, so it does have a wheelbase between those, you know, front three wheels. They all have to sort of be aligned with each other, but... You know, the mountain pass is still pretty gradual at spots, I feel. Gradual enough. I don't think there's any corners that are too steep. The incline is what concerns me, but I mean, we're just going to full reg it full 100% and hope we make it all the way to the iron mine, really. Not much else we can do about it. If we don't make it, I'm just going to have to sprint all the way back, get Betsy, and help push it up, I guess. All right, so we got to load up first. I haven't rearranged this section yet. I need to rearrange it so you can come in through here and then load up and then go out through a Y and just go straight down to the smelter once you're loaded. But for now, we're just going to have to load up and then back up to this switch here and then go forward, which isn't really that big of a deal, but I should make it proper so you don't have to keep going in reverse all the time. This corner's a bit tight too, but I think we'll be okay. Perfect. Yeah, this is great. Wonderful. It's legit. We actually have a legit train now. I feel so much better about myself. Actually, not really. I, I couldn't care less. As long as the train works and gets the job done. You know, Betsy is awesome too because it's so easy to manage, you know, how tiny Betsy is. But anyway, here we go. We're going to break. So we need to load up with exactly four cars of this lumber stuff. And we need eight cars of beams. And that gives us 24 of each material because it's six per car of the lumber and three per car of the beams. So let's just get that loaded. And then we can head on down to this smelter. Actually, no, we're not going to the smelter. Head to the iron mine. That's where we're going. Make some iron. Then we'll finally have enough maybe to do some iron runs at some point. All right, we've got the train fully loaded. Four cars in the front. Eight cars in the back. You know, the train compared to Betsy, it's, uh, like, the, the cars of freight seem huge compared to Betsy. But compared to this thing, they're actually really small. Fully loaded. They don't really look that big. So we gotta go full reverse, back up, get back past that switch over there. And then we're gonna flip down and head to the iron line mine. Now, all the rest of the switches to the iron mine should be set, I would think. So we're just gonna basically hammer it and hope for the best. And see what happens and hopefully not derail this whole way. Oh my god, this is insane. 12 cars, so we're definitely getting up there. And then we're going to have to start actually running iron from the iron mine to the smelter. We've already got cordwood at the smelter, so that's good. We just need to basically get uh, the raw iron down to the smelter. But as Dapper and I found, it's a ratio of 1 to 1 to 1. So this entire train is only going to make 24 raw iron, and each iron car carries 10. So we're going to need at least two of these trains to get one full load of only four iron cars, which is ridiculous. So they better sell for a whole ton. I would hope they do anyway. And then, of course, we can make 
iron products at the smelter, but regardless, we're going to be running a lot of these 12 car plank trains, I feel. And then we have to run a lot of wood just to fill these 12 car plank trains, but here we go. Fire temp's getting a little low, so let's make sure we stock that up. Just, we got so much firewood, it doesn't even matter. All right, perfect. Let's flick this switch. And let's head on down to the iron mine and uh, hopefully make it the whole way there. I think we'll be fine. 4,600 water. We'll probably need to put a water tower at the iron mine, but it's burned 400 water getting here. Probably burn a couple thousand getting to the iron mine. We'll see when we get there. We're 4,600 now, so we'll see what happens by the time we're there. All right, we're picking up some speed. Should be good. Reduce the regulator a little bit just to save some water. Wow, it instantly loses speed when we pull back the reg. You can actually, like, hear it. It's crazy. This is only 12 cars we're pulling. Betsy can pull 12 cars like this with, like, 30%. I feel like Betsy needs to be nerfed, or maybe every other engine needs to be buffed. Now, I don't really know. I haven't bought all the engines yet. So once we get all the engines, then we'll be able to do a, a real comparison between every single one of them. But for now, it does seem like a lot of the engines are underpowered, or Betsy is just way overpowered and so the expectation that you have going into each new engine is just way too high like i would expect this thing to, to pull you know 20 cars no problem fully loaded now mind you it probably could on flat ground but we are going to go up and down hills so i don't know i honestly don't know if this is going to make it all the way to the iron mine or not i hope it does if it doesn't we're going to be sprinting all the way back to the freight depot just to pick up another engine so i mean we should be fine this part will be easy anyway. We just, you know, turn the regulator off. Turn the compressor up to 100%. Oh, we got... No, never mind. We have brake pressure. We don't need that. Just gonna coast here and see what happens. I really hope these switches are set. It would suck if they're not. I mean, worst case, if they're not set, we're gonna end up in the smelter. There's no switch that could be... Uh, I guess there's the one switch on the Y could be set wrong and derail us, but I don't, I don't think so. This is actually pretty sweet. Nice and slow. Doesn't seem like we're out of control. No brake even. Like 0% brake. So. Smooth. It's really good. Oh boy. That's already really high up over there. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if we're going to make it. This first switch is set though. That's good. As soon as we get on the bridge. We're going to crank up to 100% reg. And just let it run. And hopefully that'll be enough. Oh boy. All right, that, that switch is set too. Perfect. Here we go. 100% reg. Let's make sure we just keep the compressor just enough to keep the brake pressure at full. Once we're at full brake pressure, we'll turn that off. Excellent. Make sure our brake's at zero. Oh, boy. Well, it's... 4%. It is already bogging down. That is not good. I'm going to turn on the sander even though I don't think we have any sand. Oh boy. Oh, you got to climb, dude. Oh no, I don't know if it's going to do it. Oh dear lord. Man, this thing just doesn't have nothing compares to Betsy. Betsy's just the machine. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. We might actually be out of sand is the problem. To be honest. I don't know. I thought new engines came full of sand. Like, Betsy 2 came full of sand. But maybe these ones don't come with any sand in them. Or there's the, the visual doesn't work, but normally you can see like a little bit of green or yellowish, whatever, sand coming out the, the thing. I don't know. Come on, dude. You're almost at the flat ground. Just pull. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit. You got it. You got it. Yes. Holy cow. Oh my god. I don't know if it's going to make it to the top. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping we pick up enough speed between now and then, but dang. That was the gradual hill. It was only 6% for a little bit. We get spots coming up that are 6% for a lot. I don't know if it's going to make it. 
All right, we're picking up some speed on the flat section. I guess I could have turned the sand off. I don't know. If, you know what? Let's let's actually stop for a sec. Let's break because we are on this flat section. Let's hold up before we climb. I'm going to put a sand tower down here and see if we can actually fill this thing up with sand. And maybe there's like a legitimate sander because the, the Betsy definitely shows sand animation coming out. So we're just going to dump a bunch of sand into this thing up here where the three is. That should be the sand container. And let's just do it right here where we're on flat ground, and then we'll have to pick up some speed, but... I think this'll, this'll actually help us a lot if there's legitimately, you know, no sand in this thing. Alright, got a sand house. We'll just be able to climb up here and lower the sand spout into the... Oh god, it needs to be so much closer. Holy cow, it really needs to be, like, on the track, this sand house. Alright. I've actually never used this before. Mine at base might be too far back. We need to literally put this, like, on the track. Like that. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Barely fits the train under it. And then, now we should be at the spot. I feel like this spout should be a little longer. But anyway, alright, there we go, perfect. So now we gotta just line it up. On top of that. Or maybe, I guess we can move the train forward a little bit. Yeah, let's move the train forward a little bit. That's probably easier. Get this lined up. Uh, just just move a little bit. Uh, okay. Oh, we're stuck. Oh, perfect. I can't move because we're stuck on the sand house itself. Okay, well, that's not good. Um, well, all right. We'll leave this here. Let's just leave this. Hold on. Yeah, no, can't move. Stuck on the sand house. Okay, are we, do we have sand now? Oh, we do. Look. Look. Now you can see the sand animation coming out of the front. Okay, so we didn't have sand that whole time. Now we're getting sand. So let's just run this entire thing dry. I'm just going to let this sand house completely empty. And then we're going to, you know, head on the rest of the way. I don't know how much sand we can even put in. Oh, I can open this. Perfect. Can I check how much sand's in there? So we didn't have any sand. So the engine doesn't start with sand, which is actually kind of good to know. Oh, okay. There's, there's sand. You can tell it's full. Perfect. Gotcha. Alright, so let's delete this sand house and get going. Man, I'm gonna have to change the location of the sand house back at my base there, because it is way too far from the track, based on just how short that spout is. But now we've got sand. So now we should be able to just hammer it and go. Let's put some sand down. Perfect. That's what we need. That'll get us traction going through these hills. All right, excellent. Let's get the compressor going a little bit. Bring that brake pressure up to max. Perfect. So now if we start to bog down, we can hit the sand. That's good. It means we actually made it up that 6% section with no no actual sand. So, you know, that's, that's something at least. But now we should be able to make it the whole way, I hope. If not, we're bringing Betsy back. And then we're going to need a more powerful engine. Apparently the, the Hessler, like the really expensive engine, the Hessler is apparently one of the best. That's what everyone keeps telling me in the comments, which is great. We'll get there eventually. But like I said, I do want to buy the engines in order of price just so we can kind of, you know, progress our way through, right? You would think that the more expensive engines would be better, but, you know, here we go. All right, compressor off. We've got brake pressure. Let's keep this at 100%. Already losing, but we'll put the sander on. I think we'll put the sander on. Are we out of sand already? Oh no, the, the sand animation is just getting flung back into the wheel. Okay, perfect. Still a little bit of sand coming out. Excellent. Alright, made it up that section. This section is relatively flat, so we should be fine. We also are tugging 4,000 water, which I don't know if that's like liters or gallons or what the deal is, but if we're, you know, if that's like 4,000 liters, that's a lot of water. Like, that's a lot of water weight, and maybe that's a thing. So maybe running this route, we should only run like 2,000 liters. You know, that'd be a lot less weight. I don't know, actually, what this, or even if that even affects it at all. You would think it would, but... I really don't know. And then, also, what happens if we, you know, remove the firewood? Does the engine get lighter with less firewood? 
Although I feel like the firewood wouldn't be nearly as significant as the uh, water weight. All right, as soon as we're across this bridge, I'm turning the sander back on because we're going to be climbing, and I don't, I don't have a lot of faith in this thing. All right, here we go, sander on. Come on, just keep climbing, just full speed. Oh boy. Seeing how much this struggles, it kind of makes me wish I didn't do this S-Bend section, but that S-Bend just looks so cool. It's definitely less efficient than going straight, though, but it looks cool because it hugs the mountains a little bit, but... I don't know, just keep chugging, man. This is a this is a long climb, though. It's still got to climb. Oh, come on, dude. Come on, dude. If it starts sliding, we're done. That's it. That's it. This is it. This is where we get to. Are you serious? Ah, that's it. Wow. Alright. Uh, well, we're gonna have to go get Betsy. Put her in the back, give her full throttle, and help push this thing up. Because, uh, this is where we got to. We've still gotta climb. This is all 6% all the way up until basically right around that corner, and then it stops being 6%. This is as far as we got. Dang. I was really hoping this would be the engine to do it. Now, this is 12 cars fully loaded, so we could do a trip that's half as many cars, and, you know, it'd be it'd be better. Um, I guess we could just disconnect half the cars, let them roll, and come get them. Could just do that. Come get them. You know what? Let's, let's actually do that. Then I don't have to go get our new engine. Let's just put the brake on this, unpin you, I'll turn the brake off. You know, are you, you're on a hill. There you go. I was about to say. All right, now I'll put the brake on. It'll eventually slow down. Let's bring these. Oh, I only brought five. Oh, it's five and seven. Oh, I disconnected. You know, it'll be fine. All right, let's bring these five up first, and then we'll go back and get the other seven. We'll have to build a little rough switch off line, but this will work. No problem. There we go. Sander. 100% reg, no break. We still can't actually go forward. Are you serious? You can't start? All right, we got to just roll backwards then. All right, we've got six cars hooked up now. Uh, the other six we're just going to leave on the track. I think they're somewhere back there. We'll come back for them in a sec. So here we go. Full regulator, no break, full reverser. And uh, I know a lot of people are like, well, you're supposed to use the generator. I get a lot of comments saying that. My understanding was that the generator was just for electrical systems after reading your comments from my first generator experience. But see, if I put it at 100%, it e instantly defaults back to zero. So I have a funny feeling there isn't actually a generator on this thing. But anyway, here we go. Full speed, full reg, sander on, six cars. Let's do this. Oh, boy. Is six percent, but come on, it's six cars, dude. Like, it's half the weight. Betsy could easily do this, no problem. Oh wow, are we out of sand again? Nope, still coming out. All right, perfect. Six percent might be too much for this engine, though. I honestly, I think we're just gonna have to get Betsy, hook the whole train up, push Betsy from the back, and and bring it all up. It really just can't do 6%. It's chugging. It's chugging. And... Oh, oh, and no, we're sliding. All right, let's go get Betsy. We've got to walk all the way back. Alrighty, we should be approaching shortly. Betsy the rescue train, I hope. Took a little bit to run all the way back to the freight depot, but we should be fine. Uh, just around this corner, there we go. There's all our cars, perfect. So we're just gonna attach Betsy right to the back of it and basically just manually give it full reg, full power as if it's pushing the train. And then we're gonna go back up to the front and man the mogul. And hopefully we'll be able to make it to the iron mine this mine. And then, uh, gonna have to work on something. I guess, uh, really, we need better engines, but this- the mogul couldn't even pull six. So I don't really know what we're supposed to do if we can't even pull six up to the top. That seems a little bit, you know, ridiculous to me. Uh, let's just put some firewood in here. 
perfect. Push you forward, turn your brake all the way off. Nice slow percentage for now. Just get the whole train relinked up. But yeah, we, we're going to have to find another route to the iron mine at some point as well. It's only, you know, there's got to be a way for us to get there that's a little bit less than 6%. The 6% is kind of nuts, and uh, obviously it's too much. But that being said, too, we got to get the better engines. I should save up and get, like, the Hessler or something, and uh, one of the, you know, $5,700 engines or whatever the heck it is, the super expensive ones, because they'll probably have the best chance of making it to the iron mine. But there we go. Everything should be linked up. I'm gonna get rid of this tree because I don't like it. Thank you. Perfect. All right, let's crank Betsy up to max. And then now there should be like zero issue. I feel like this is just gonna be a joke. All right, here we go. 0% brake still. Still should have fuel. 100% reg. Perfect, full forward. Let's go. Now we'll get in the front. And I bet you the mogul now, as soon as we turn off the brakes, is going to feel like it's got 6,000 horsepower. It's going to be awesome. You won't even see Betsy at the back, but you'll get the uh, the super huge kick from it. So hopefully this will do it. And once we make it up this hill, this is like the, the worst part of the climb. This is the only part that's bad. Look at that. We didn't even turn on the reg. We were already moving. But this one climb here, this is the worst climb. Once you get past this, everything is smooth sailing. Oh no, this thing doesn't have any firewood temp. I forgot. Oh, it's just... Is that gonna be... How are we doing? Boiler pressure? It's dropping? You know what? Let's just... Betsy will pick up the slack. It'll be fine. Betsy's for sure got full boiler pressure. You can see the steam coming out the top of it, so that's perfect, but... We're gonna be burning pressure here as we go. Because it took us forever to get back here. I forgot we had to put fire in this, because it would have run cold by the time... You know, I went all the way back to the freight depot, picked up Betsy, but... Oh, she's still bogging a little bit. I don't have full boiler pressure, though. That's not good. But Betsy's pushing, so... Hopefully that's enough. Man, you can see the cars are, like, almost off the track. It's not really good to push rail cars. They don't... Hey, oh, my God, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dear lord. Oh no. Yeah, just as I was you don't want to push rail cars. That's that's why you don't. Yeah, that's why you oh no. Oh my god. Oh dear lord. Oh my goodness. And Be look at look at Betsy's doesn't even care. Betsy's like great. Wow. Alrighty then. I think I think that's actually like the worst train wreck I've possibly ever had in this game. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I was gonna say I should probably uh, you know go back to an old save file, but the only save I have is literally from before we even bought the engine. Um, so basically the whole ep Betsy, would you stop? You gotta calm. You gotta calm down, Betsy. You gotta you know we're gonna turn you off. I can't believe that. Just as I was saying, basically what happened is if you push the train cars, they buckle. And instead of going up, it, it makes the whole thing buckle and they all buckled out. And uh, this is just a disaster. This is actually the worst train wreck I've ever had. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. We didn't make it to the iron mine. That sucks. But um, yeah, I, I only have a save from before I started the episode. I usually make a save before the episode and that's pretty much it. And uh, so we're going to have to go back to there and rebuy this engine, which is fine. But not going to be able to supply the iron mine with the Cook Mogul. Obviously on its own, it can't make it up here. Um, we're still going to rename it the same thing and all that. But yeah, we're definitely going to have to run it in tandem with another engine. And not from the back. Going to have to have two engines pulling at the front. Like Betsy in front of it. Or something like that. And that'll help it out. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What other things do you want to see me do in Railroads Online? We got a lot of things to do. I definitely want to make an iron mine. Oh, can't see. I definitely want to make an iron mine run. That runs along that other plateau over there. You can kind of see right where the cursor is. There's like a little bit of track. And that's actually our bridge going down to the smelter. So I feel like if we turn right and then come along that other side. It might be a smoother journey and a little bit less of a hill climb. And then maybe engines like the Cook Mogul could make it to the iron mine unassisted. But uh, this, was, this was a disaster. I can't believe this. This is insane. We could re-rail all these... But honestly, 
I'm just gonna reload the save and, uh, and, you know, not lose all this stuff. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure, of course, you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see y'all next time.